good morning. I get questions all the time via, um, again now via YouTube, but also from friends, Facebook, at least one message a week asking me about different baby carries, what's the best kind, and I found myself responding to most of the messages in a very similar way. <laughs> And that was listing all the different types of carriers, where you can find them, blah, 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 blah. So I just decided what I was going to do is make just a big video to show the different types of carriers that are out there, uh, what they can do, what they cost, because there really can be a baby wearing option for anybody in any budget. <laughs> so using my little model here, and maybe even my toddler from time to time, I'm going to go through various types of baby carriers and just give you the basics on those, what they do, uh, typical brands for that type of carrier, what makes them different from other carriers, pros, cons, that type of thing so that you can make a decision for you and your family on which carrier is the right one for you. So I hope you enjoy this. First we're going to start off with soft structure carriers or SSCs. This is probably the most basic type of carrier that you'll see around whether at the zoo, church, out at the mall, wherever. Uh, these carriers are called soft structure carriers for a reason. They are structured, they have a waist belt, buckles in the back, sometimes buckles on the sides right here, and again they're, they're going to vary depending on the model. Um, but basically what they're going to do is provide you with some structure but still some softness. And this particular, I've, I've done a review and a demo on this, but this particular carrier is an Ergo. It will go on the front, I can carry my baby on the back, I can also do a hip carry. And there's a couple, a couple pros and cons to, to this. Uh, a pro is that it's very easy on, easy off. It takes me about five seconds to get him into the carrier. It takes me about three seconds to get him out. So personally, I like it for quick errands when I'm not gonna be out a really long time. On the other hand, I have worn um, my babies in here for as long as eight or nine hours straight walking. <laughs> and it's been comfortable. Again, this is just a, a carrier that I like for myself and it, it fits my body pretty well. Um, but this is an example of a soft structured carrier. This particular carrier, the Ergo Sport, goes for about $114, $115. Other soft structure carrier companies are Boba, Becco, Lilla Baby, and Tula. Those are just to name a few. They're, they're going to run anywhere between about $100 and $160, depending on the, the model, depending on the, the company, depending on the print even, or the, the color or design or, or something like that. Some have straps that cross in the back. Um, a lot of them just kind of do this. The Tula though does not do a hip carry. That's one difference. Um, but again, this is, this is a great carrier. It is uh, all good carriers. They should provide you with knee to knee support. Basically, the, the, the carrier goes to the baby's knees on both sides, so they're in a seated position, or they're in like an M position, where their, their bottom is the lowest portion and their knees are slightly higher than their bottom. Uh, so carriers like, um, like, like Kiko and um, sometimes even Infantino, has a few. Um, baby Bjorn is the most common one that you may see where the baby is like, it, their legs are kind of hanging. Um, they're, they're okay carriers, but one, they're notoriously uncomfortable for the wearer. There's research that says that they can cause hip issues with, with the kids. Um, however, you're not they're not in the carrier for, hopefully not in the carrier for an extended period of time. It's just a matter of asking yourself, how would you rather spend a day at the zoo? Would you rather spend the day at the zoo in a nice seated position? Or would you rather be like straddling the arm of a couch or a chair? <laughs> so just kind of give you a visual uh, like that. So anyway, this is a soft structured carrier. Um, like I said, a couple of the, the pros would be it's easy on, easy off. It's, there's very little learning curve to it. It's very adjustable with all the buckles. 
Um, the cons would be some people just don't find them as comfortable or some people just like better prints or better uh, designs on their carriers. Again, a completely personal decision. So this is, like I said, a soft structured carrier. The next type of carrier that we'll discuss is the Meitai. And a lot of people see this and, and they think, well, it looks like just another soft structured carrier like I just had on. However, there's a big difference. Instead of buckles and straps and things like that to adjust, really all there is is just some long straps that you tie around yourself. And I really like this because it gives immediate adjustability. Uh, I don't, if, if I wear this and then I give it to my husband to wear, then, then he doesn't have to adjust any buckles, he just ties it on himself. And that's, and that's the beauty of something like this. Uh, a may tie is, is usually pretty structured in the body of the carrier. Sometimes they have padded straps, sometimes not. Again, it depends uh, on the brand. And a couple of pros of this, this is also easy on, easy off. Uh, maybe a couple of cons would be that there is a bit of a learning curve with tying it in different configurations. But then again, that can be a pro. Some people like to, like to have more options, different ways to, uh, to tie their, their may tie. And I like it more comfortably in this cross uh, straps thing, where the straps are crossed in the back. I think it's most comfortable for, for me and for him. This particular brand is made by Baby Hawk. They also make a toddler hawk, which is basically the same thing, only bigger. They also make a may tie with longer, extra extra long straps, so you can do more configurations. There are so many types of may ties on the market right now, uh, but another brand that makes a may tie is Infantino. It's called the Sash Wrap and Tie. And it's, got, I've never tried it, but it gets wonderful reviews. So these carriers can range, like if you get an Infantino, that can be $30 or so, probably on average, you can get, just get that at Target. Um, this brand right here, Baby Hawk, it runs anywhere between, depending on, depending on you know prints, uh, depending on designs, colors, it can be anywhere between eighty and about one hundred and thirty dollars. Here you have a Maytag, very comfortable carrier for myself and my baby. This also goes on the back and the hip. All right, so the next carrier we're going to talk about is the Ring Sling. Now, this is this one personally is my DIY Osnaberg ring sling that I uh, did a, a grad dye on, and I could talk more about that <laughs> at another time. But just it's just the basics of this sling. What it is, it's these two aluminum rings right here, and basically just sewn to a long, long, long piece of fabric. Mine is really long. I think it's two and a half yards when I got it. And there, there are some pros and cons with this. Pros is that it can be a very easy on, easy off sling after you have some practice, after you are good at it. Uh, with this particular fabric, the Osnaberg requires a great deal of breaking in. And so it's, it was really, really rough at the beginning. So I just had to use it over and over and over for it to be able to slide through the rings really well and it still doesn't do a great job of that but we're working on it. It can be really easy for on and off uh, like when you're running errands or something like that. You can even do it with a coat on. You've already got your coat on. You just put the baby in and tighten it. That's really all there is to it. The baby again is in a really good seat and supported knee to knee but I use this sling more for around the house. Another, another pro is that it's, since it's a fabric that's, that just conforms to his body, then I just, I just feel closer to him. I really just, just like that feeling. Uh, one of the cons to it is that there is somewhat of a learning curve. You have to practice. You have to make sure you're getting your baby in, in a good seat in the ring sling. And you also have to find something that is comfortable for you. I can wear him in this for probably no more than an hour or so. So I wouldn't use this for, for you know, an entire day at the mall or at the zoo or something like that, unless he were a little bitty <laughs> guy um, that would probably be more comfortable. He is currently about 18 pounds and seven months old today. 
That's just a little bit on, on the ring sling. I really do like this carrier, but it's not my always 100% go-to carrier. These can range if you buy them from, from various retailers, they can go anywhere between 60 to in the hundreds of dollars. The reason why they can be so expensive is that what some people will do is take their woven wraps, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. They'll take their woven wraps, send them off to companies, have the seamstress or whoever it is that they send it to, they'll have them convert it into a ring sling. So you're looking at a ring area, a piece of fabric that cost several hundred dollars and you're getting it converted so it just again it just depends this ring sling with the the rings and the fabric probably and the die probably cost me less than 30 bucks and I just really I couldn't say no to that <laughs> especially if it was something I wasn't sure that I would really really love so again it's really just a, a preference thing but this is this is what works for us hi and he seems pretty happy and I'm pretty comfortable in it as well. Uh, you can do a, I'm kind of in the middle of a front carry and a hip carry. <laughs> you can do a tummy to tummy hip carry. You can do a hip carry. You can actually do a back carry as well, which I've actually not attempted with him yet. He's still a little bit young. You can nurse in this. You can nurse in pretty much all of these carriers that I'm showing you. Um, it's just that when I nurse him, I really like to sit down. I. I love to baby wear, I love to nurse, I just don't love to do both of those at the same time. So, so yeah, so here is your ring sling. Hope this is helpful. The next type of care I wanted to talk about is the stretchy wrap. The two most popular brands you may have heard of are the Boba Wrap and actually probably the most popular would be the Moby Wrap. I love this wrap, okay, <laughs> for, for quite a few reasons, but Probably the, the thing that I love most about this wrap is that because it is stretchy, it's not real stretchy, it's not like a, it's not even as stretchy as my shirt, but it has, it has some structure, uh, or it has some support I should say, um, but it does have some stretch to it. So it does allow for a little bit of an easier learning curve. That said, a lot of people don't like the Moby because the learning curve is too high. But I tell people, once you, try it, you're going to like it. <laughs> and once you get it right, it's going to be something that you use a lot. Now, it's most often used with small babies. I've loved it the most with my, with my newborns. I have used it on my toddler. It Technically, the weight limit is anywhere, I believe, six or seven to 40 pounds. The biggest pro for me is that it's, it's tight, it's snug, it makes the baby feel very close to me and both of my boys would fall asleep in it pretty much any time I would put them in it. And so probably the biggest con, besides the fact that there is a pretty good learning curve to it, probably the, the biggest con besides that is that it's not good for hot weather. It is hot. <laughs> and so it's great for cool weather. I guess even if you live in a place like I do in Indiana where it gets warm in the summer but it's it's not too terrible. It's not like where I'm from in Texas where it's 90 to 100 degrees all summer long. I think in another time I'll do a demo on how to use this. Um, but as you can see, very, very, very long piece of fabric. So I'll show you how this works. Okay, here I am wearing the Moby Wrap. And as you can see, he is just snuggled right in here with me. And I was laughing because as soon as I got him in here and settled, he immediately spit up, which it's so funny because both my boys have done that for some reason with this wrap. <laughs> I don't know if it's the way I put them in or what. <laughs> but um, as you can see, again, baby supported knee to knee. But again, once you, once you get them up here and they snuggle right in, it's so great. One thing that I do love about this is that Oop, he just spit up again. <laughs> Is that if he does fall asleep, which my boys both have done a lot, he's probably not going to let me demonstrate, but there's a little pocket right here, kind of in the strap, and you can just tuck their little head, not the front of their head, but the back of their head in here. Let's see if he's going to let me do it. 
No, he's not into. He's not in the mood. <laughs> but it, like, if he's facing this way, I can just stick his his little head in the pocket, like that, kind of, just to hold his head in place. Okay. So the Moby wrap kit or the or the boba stretchy wrap, and again, these are these are also okay as DIY. But when you buy them in the stores, they're going to be anywhere between forty to sixty dollars, depending on where you go the brand and things like that. What? What? But again, I would highly recommend having a stretchy wrap, if anything, for a little baby. And again, also when it is uh, somewhat cool outside. So here you have the stretchy wrap. Forgive me, one thing that I meant to mention with the stretchy wrap is that it's only designed for front and sometimes even hip carries. You can nurse in it, but one very important thing is that it is not recommended to do a back carry or a forward facing carry, but especially with the stretchy wrap on the back because it is not supportive enough to give your baby a good seat should they lean back, you know, throw themselves back. It's just not supportive enough. So I wanted to make sure that I made that very clear. All right, this type of carrier is called a pouch sling. This is one that I've seen around a lot. You may have heard of seven slings where you get the free sling, you just pay for shipping. Well, I got one right before Caleb was born and I was incredibly disappointed in it. It was just not for me. The sizing was off, the quality was not that great. Um, but recently I, I came to own this hot sling and this is actually a wonderfully fitting sling pouch slings are notoriously difficult to size correctly but if you get the correct size they are so wonderful and so easy um, basically all it is is just a a piece of fabric that that wraps around you it's one piece there's no wrapping tying buckling nothing and you just put the baby in the little pocket pull it under their knees to make a seat you can do a, I'm kind of in between a tummy to tummy carry and a hip carry, uh, but I've got him in here and he's comfortable. He's got a wonderful seat supported knee to knee and this particular sling actually is padded, which is kind of nice for him. Yeah. And it's, it's decently comfortable for me. Again, I wouldn't spend all day at the zoo or the mall or something with him like this because it does put too much pressure on my shoulder and that's just for me. This is a Hot Slings brand and it runs for about $65 online. And I, I would recommend this, it's just like I said, the sizing is difficult. However, good thing about Hot Slings is that they actually don't even make the sized ones anymore, they actually have a fully adjustable uh, pouch sling. So if you want to try that, I would definitely encourage you to, to do so. This is uh, wonderful because uh, a pro is that you can roll it up into the diaper bag. It's very, very easy <laughs> on and off. Um, and it, it folds down to just like this much. It's very, very small. Probably a con would be that it's, like I said, it's not the most comfortable sling. It's probably the least comfortable <laughs> one that I own, but it's great for just really short term. And again, that's just me. So here we go. Here we have the pouch sling. Okay, so the last carrier I wanna show you is the woven wrap. And the reason why I'm showing you this last is because it is by far the most expensive and it is also the carrier that has the most learning curve or the steepest learning curve, I should say. Um, again, it is a large piece of fabric and I'm not exaggerating. This one is 5.2 meters and off the top of my head, I cannot think of how many yards that is, but it's pretty long. <laughs> it's several hundred uh, inches long. Um, but this particular wrap I purchased from Little Frog. It's, it produces wonderful, again, 100% cotton. You can see the lighter color. Can you see that? It's 100% cotton. You can get cotton, you can get wool, you can get cotton linen, you can get silk cotton, you can get all these sort of blends. But I like the 100% cotton because it is very soft. And the reason why I bought this is because I wasn't sure that I was going to be good at wrapping and I didn't want to spend several hundred dollars on a wrap that I didn't like. Yes, you heard that right, several hundred. <laughs> Depending on, again, 
the print or design, depending on the fabric, depending on where you get it from. There, again, there's so many variables, but a good wrap is gonna cost you, like I paid $86 for this, and that's like super bargain basement, okay, for brand new. But if you want a regular wrap that isn't, you know, really cheap like this, still good quality, you're going to pay at least $150, $250, $300 and up. Um, some of them are hand woven, some are machine woven. If you think about it, the reason why they cost so much is because the fabric is really good and you're getting a lot of yardage out of this. And also, because they're, they're woven there in different designs and different prints, so sometimes some of these designs and prints are, um, they're very limited edition. They may only have a few that they made and then they quit. And so I know some people who have, I mean, tens or even hundreds of wraps. And personally with my budget, that's not something I can wrap my head around, but some people collect shoes, some people collect purses, some people collect baby wraps. A couple of pros about this, they can take you from infant to toddler, literally. I can carry Caleb, who is almost three, and he's about 28, 29 pounds. I can carry him easily on my back, of course. Um, I can carry Brayden, I can carry a, a newborn in this. And so this is something that is gonna take you all the way from the newborn stage to the toddler stage. Even when your toddler is really, really fussy, sometimes still even teething, pull this out, put them on, and you're good to go. There's technically not a weight limit on these. It's more of just the discretion of the wearer. Cons obviously are expense, and two, probably the biggest con actually, is that they can be very difficult to learn with. If you're someone who just likes to get your baby on and baby off just very easily, a soft structure care would be more for you. If you appreciate more of the challenge and, and uh, of course, literally hundreds of configurations and getting your baby um, on either your front, hip, or back, this would be something that you may want to try out. So let me just put Brayden on and show you what it looks like. Okay, here I am wearing my woven wrap made by Little Frog. And I've got Brayden on my back and a carry called the Double Hammock. Now, I see a lot of problems just looking at it. I didn't wrap it in front of a mirror. So I see some problems with my wrapping job, but he's in there securely. He's supported from knee to knee. He's got a nice deep seat and he's really comfortable. He falls asleep almost every time I put him in this carry. And he's a, he's a very wiggly boy when I'm putting him on my back, but I just love this woven. It's, it's got a tremendous amount of length. So with all this wrapping, I saw this giant knot up here, but I love how it's, really supportive. I don't feel like he's going to fall out. He feels uh, really soft and close to me right now. And the only thing is maybe it's a con, he can pull your hair <laughs> when they're on your back. Oh my goodness. But anyway, this is, this is just an example of one carry that you can do with a woven wrap. You can put them on your back in many different ways, on your front, a hip carry, and you can nurse in pretty much any of these um, some are easier than others. He's taking out my ponytail right now. <laughs> some are easier than others. You cannot nurse in a back carry. I take that back. You probably can. I just haven't <laughs> learned that one yet. But there are a lot of videos online to teach you the, the various carries that you can do with a, with a woven wrap. <laughs> so again, this is a little frog wrap that we really like. Uh, the, the cost range uh, for a little frog is anywhere between about $50 to $90, maybe even, maybe even up to $100, depending on the blend. Um, but, <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> but for your, your other <laughs> um, higher end wraps, you're going to pay in the hundreds. Uh, so just a little bit of something to, to think about when you're, when you're purchasing uh, your, your baby carriers. So I hope that this video was helpful in helping you to decide uh, what kind of care you would like, what kind of care you'd like to give to somebody. If you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to add, please leave it in the comment box below. Uh, be sure to like this video if you'd like to see more things like this. <laughs> and subscribe also. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>
and have a great day.